You are welcome to my channel which is Nyaike Fashion. In today's video I will be teaching you how to sew a bishop collar. How to sew a bishop collar. So all you need, actually you need your sewing machine. It could be industrial sewing machine, it could be this one I'm using here. You need your scissors. You need um, an interfacing. This is the one I'm using. This is the hard one actually. Um, the one we are using. Some people choose to use this instead. Some people choose to use this gum stick instead. But I find this other one. I prefer this other one because it is strong, it is hard, and it gives better result than this. So we're not using this gum stick because it is soft. Instead, we are going to use this hard interfacing to get our final result, which will be. And again, this is the shirt. So we are we are done sewing the shirt already. What is left now is for us to attach the collar. So this shirt we are done. We have cut the neck to the desired size. It is left for us to attach the collar. So now let's get started properly. So now um, in this video now I've cut the collar as you can see. This is the collar. I've cut it already and I've attached it to this fabric. Um, I may be making a video to teach you how to cut the collar, but in this one, I just want to focus on teaching you how to fix it, how to attach it to the main shirt, how to attach it to the main shirt. So, you will need a piece of a fabric, the one you'll be using to sew the collar. So, um, before I forget, normally this collar is around one and a half inch or one inch, but you have to make it to be so small shouldn't be too big like three inches it to be too big so one and a half inches or one inch is normally okay so this is the piece we are using the piece of fabric we are using to sew the collar so we place it like this make sure you place it on the side where it will be sufficient to sew the entire collar so that this maybe don't come and post it place it like this that this other part will be missing no place it in such a way that it will contain the entire collar and after placing, you then sew. You have to take note while sewing, you make sure that your needle passes in between, passes where this very white interfacing stops. Where this white interfacing stops. So you sew in between, you don't sew on the interfacing like this. You sew like this. So you take note of where. Needle is passing through. So you look at the needle is just beside the the white interface and it's not touching the white interface. You leave a little gap that will give more comfortability. So we sew directly. Do it carefully. this excess so you have to take note that the first part I cut was inside the, the arc you see the color is in, in, the, in the form of an arc so you saw from the inside you don't saw outside okay you saw the inside attaching it to the fabric now when you are done sewing you now cut it Look at where this other panel stops. You cut beside it, leaves a little gap again. Something somewhere like here. You have to take note. Look at where this piece stops. You leave a little gap, like quarter of an inch, and you cut. Take it from here. See, this is where this other panel, the first one, the one having the interfacing. This is where it stops. So you are sewing around here, you are cutting, sorry, you cut around here, all through. So you 
make sure the cutting is even. Cut it evenly. So when we are done cutting, this is what we have. So you now notice that this other panel that has the intersection is a bit smaller than the one we are using to sew it. This, this, this is smaller than this one. So now, you use your scissors to make some notches around here. You make notches. And make sure you you have to know that we are making the notches from the inside, in, 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 inside, not from the outside. Okay. So now, when you are done, this other panel that doesn't have the interfacing, you will now fold it a little bit, like this. You fold it not up to half an inch. You fold it a little and sew all through. You could choose to use an iron to press it down, but I prefer sewing because it's faster. Sometimes you not have access to the iron. So when you are done sewing, this is what we have. So look. Let me try folding it. So when you fold it inside, this side will look, you fold this one to look like this. So it's already given us something beautiful. Okay? So now when you are done sewing, you fold it into two. This one that has the interfacing, you make a mark at the center. You want to get the center part of it. So you make a little knot at the center. Me use my pen to mark it so that it, it, it should be more pronounced. So this is the center of the collar. So let's get our shirt. As you can see, this is the shirt. This is now the shirt. neck where we are attaching the collar so on this neck now you notice the center back there is a sewing from the back this is the back and this is the center the center from the back this is the center and it is from here that the center of the collar the sewing will begin something like this so you have to make sure that this notch is at the center so that everything will be perfect now in order to get it you have to open the zip to give you much allowance to sew it freely without any problem so now you place this from the back at the center and then you press it all through you press it now you press it to the end of the zipper so from here you now start sewing you sew just like the first sewing we did like the one we did here that's the same song you are doing here. Just you will make sure you don't sew on top of the uh, interfacing like this. You sew it gradually, and you have to make sure it is accurately sewn. So it needs it, it requires some patience. You have to sew it gradually. Have some patience. So it gradually make sure you're following this place in between. That's where you sew it. You sew it like this all through. So 
if you take a look at this, you discover that this mark I made here is aligning with the center of the bag. This center here. This is the center of the bag, the one I showed you earlier. So you discover that it is aligning with the mark I made. So that means you are getting it right. So you continue sewing. whereby the head of the zipper could remove so you cut out this excess so we are almost there this is what we have something like this so from here now you come to this end you sew it from inside you fold this one backward a little you make sure it is straight okay, you make sure it is coming straight with the zipper you make sure you make a straight sewing like this. So you fold this other one inside a little bit. So after doing this, we'll turn it up, turn it inside out. turning it see this is what we got for one of the ends look at it it's really looking good this is what we have for one of the end now you come to this other end and do the same thing this time around you are sewing from down up so you fold this one a little bit Pushing it out with the help of my scissors, so that it gives us a nice edge. So now, in order to complete the work, you now sew from outside here. While you are sewing, you make sure your sewing now comes and at least it sews this one down too. Make sure the needle gets to this very point. Don't make it like this because if it's like this, at the end of the day, when you are done sewing, you discover that the collar is not well fixed. So you have to push it down like this. That was why we cut this one and it was longer than the one with the interfacing. So at this level now, after making sure that it is down, it is longer than this one, you now bring it to your machine and begin sewing. So you now sew. As you can see we are sewing in between this white um, portion and this red portion we are sewing in between technically we are not sewing on top of the collar and we're not sewing on top of the shirt we are sewing right in between so that the thread will not be exposed so we're sewing that one. points you have to do it gradually look at from here it appears as though there is no sewing here so you have to do it gradually
your sewing needs all through to the end. Now see what we have at the end of the day. Let me move the cam camera to the back. So this is what we have. We now have a perfect bishop collar as you can see. So we have a perfect bishop collar as you can see. Yes, you see how it is looking. Very nice. Looking good. So this is the zipper. You can open it. Open it like that. And then zip up. This the pin. So you have to notice that here there is an, a little opening. This is based on the design. There are some that don't have little, a little opening here, so it will be like this, something like this. One of the side will be overlapping. So based on this design, it has a little opening, like you can see it here now. So this is the end. Thank you for watching this very video. Please, like I said earlier, if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe to this channel, which is in your fashion. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get informed of our new videos and also help me share. Thank you so much. You can also comment your corrections or your views on the comment section. Thank you once again.